guys welcome to my youtube space i am finally doing a 2020 planner video i was supposed to do a 2020 stack at the beginning of the year but at that time i was still sorting out my system and after six months of experimenting i think i finally found a system that is working out great for me um so here we are mid-year doing a 2020 planner video um i ended 2019 with this week's the Hobonichi week and I also had a personal planner. Both of the planners are in my previous YouTube video. So naturally when I was getting into 2020, I also wanted to do the weeks again. I also decided to buy an 18cc wallet from Julio in the black epoca leather. It is absolutely beautiful and the idea behind this was to put a pocket notebook in it and just throw in my bag. Apart from these two planners, I had ordered an A5 Julio Campania for my work and business purposes and I was using my personal medium Campania as a personal planner. Now um, the pocket notebook I sort of realized that it wasn't really doing me any good so I decided to change this into a wallet as it's intended to use to be used. Um, I have my cards up front, I have cash in this pocket, I have a black check in this pocket and the receipts go in the back. So this is being used as a wallet. I put this eyelet on myself. This usually does not come with the strings and an eyelet on the spine. And I love this. I can throw this in my bag and it is absolutely beautiful. My weeks was in a very, very beautiful Apunto Slim in the black polka leather. Um, you can find pictures of it on my Instagram um, account but I soon got very tired of using the weeks. I think I just fell out of love with the weeks, so I decided to change it up a bit. At that time, I decided to put a B6 Slim Nami Cafe Notes notebook. I cut it just a tad bit, and uh, um, I put this in my Aponto Slim. The Aponto Slim itself, I feel, is the perfect size to carry, but the notebook was just falling a bit short for me. It was small. It was difficult to take notes on the go. I was just using this as a bullet journal style notebook. But because of it being too small, I decided to ditch this as well and I sold my Apunto Slim. So I was left with a personal planner and an A5 planner. Now, um, I was loving the A5 planner so much that I decided to put a personal section in here. And eventually I just didn't want to use the personal size as well. So my A5, Campania became my main planner. It has all the sections and all the information that I need. The only thing, the only issue was that I could not carry an A5 Campania. It's too big to carry and um, it's a bit heavy as well. So I decided to find a carry that I would like, but it's not as small as a B6 slim size. Sometime last year, I bought these Midori Traveler's Notebooks and I noticed how I absolutely love writing in them, writing in the standard size specifically. Um, I was mainly just journaling um, in these traveler's notebooks, but I thought that this was a great size to carry a planner in as well. So because of that, I ended up buying the Giulio Germando in the black Apoca. I have a very simple system in here, and it is absolutely perfect in terms of a carry for me because it slides in and out of my bag very easily and it gives me the same A5 height but at the same time it's slim and it's very narrow, it's lightweight so I can carry it very easily. It's an absolutely beautiful planner. And just to do a quick flip, I have a very simple system in here. I have my decor up front. I have, a, I have three notebooks in here. I, firstly, I have this month on two pages um, monthly insert. This is from Paper and Cats. The next insert that I have is my dailies, which is basically a grid notebook where I just bullet journal. In this insert, I've been trying out different layouts and um, just different types of dailies that I wanted to see what works out best for me.
The last insert is a task list where I just create different kinds of lists, whether it's a wish list, things I need to buy, it's a work list, it can be any kind of list. So I just create lists in here, and this is basically my carry. Now, this system is working out great. The size itself is working out great, and I did love the inserts, the standard size inserts, but I sort of want to give um, something else a try, so this system is going to be changed um, probably this month. I am sort of ditching these three inserts for one notebook, basically. I'm, I've got um, a Stalogy on the way, which I'm going to cut down in the A5 slim size and put it in here and see how that works out for me. My A5 binder has become, has been an absolute success. I have been using this planner for the past six months and um, I have used it nearly every day. Um, in this planner, I have all the information that I would need um, if I need to put down information um, to reference in the future, I know that I should put it down in my A5 planner because, and I know that if there's any information that I'm looking for, I will find it in my A5, which is what makes this planner absolutely amazing for me. Um, I have all the space in here to uh, brainstorm and take notes and schedule stuff. Up front, I just have some decor from some of my favorite shops. Um, I am going to be doing a functional and a decor flip um, after this video, which is going to, I will, where I'll mention the shops and the things that I've um, used in this planner. So up front, I have my inbox. I have a master task list, categori categorized lists, and some notes pages. I have these monthly calendars where I just take... Um, mark down some important dates. I have some more notes pages. I have my year at a glance from Sessa V. Almost all of my inserts are from Sessa V because um, I absolutely love the designs from her. They are my favorite inserts. My next second section is my schedule section where I have my month on one page where I do my pre-planning. And then those are followed by month on two pages where I just put down important dates and plan um, as I go throughout the month. The next section is my week on two pages, again from Sessa V. I use these inserts for pre-planning as well, so that every Sunday night I will sit down and plan my week out. And this system is working out great again for me. The next um, inserts that I'm using are my dailies. So my dailies are from SM Plans. Um, I love these inserts because they are very simple and they give me the space that I need um, with the layout that I would need. They're basically, um, they have a dart grid on one side and a list form on the other side. I use this section for scheduling my entire day and then I put down lists and the things that I need to do on this side. The, the next section is my personal section where I have um, just personal notes and uh, mostly wish lists, shops that I wanna buy from, my weight loss and health related information. I have some personal goals, meal planning inserts, some lists that I would like to refer to, the books that I want to read. The next section is my project section. In my project section, I have um, images where I get Im inspiration from and a lot of um, project-related notes and lists that I am working on currently. The last section is my finance section where I have budget related, income related, and debt related information. And I usually just sit once a month to fill out this, um, these inserts. And that is my main binder. Now um, it is mid-year and I am going to be taking out all my inserts from here. I'm going to 
be cleaning out the entire planner and I'm going to be putting in fresh inserts for the second half of the year from July to December. So I might do a, a new flip for that as well. So thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Until next time, bye bye.